We are here in the place where I came the first time and we commemorated what happened to Jesus. And this was the place that the anointing came down so strong. And so I really wanted to teach you this particular segment right here in this place. And that was the scourging of Jesus, the whipping of Jesus. Could have been in a place just like this, where he was tied to the post and where he was whipped one after another, after another, after another. If you've ever seen the film Passion, how many of you ever seen that? You know how serious that whipping was. It says in John 19, verse 1, So then Pilate took Jesus and scourged, flogged, whipped him. And the soldiers, having twisted together a crown of thorns, put it on his head and threw a purple cloak around him. And they kept coming to him and saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him with the palms of their hands. The reason for us, the scourging, is so important. As we go into the next scripture, you'll find out. Matthew 8.17. The Lord took me to Matthew 8.17, connected to the scourging. And thus, Jesus fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He himself took in order to carry away our weaknesses, our infirmities, and bore away our diseases. That was the purpose, my friends, of the scourging. So I decided to go right to Isaiah and find out what happened. So I went to Isaiah 53. And in Isaiah 53, here's what I found out. He, Jesus, was despised and rejected and forsaken by men. We know that. A man of sorrows and pains, and acquainted with grief and sickness, and like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we did not appreciate his worth or have any esteem for him. Surely he has borne our griefs, our sicknesses. Surely he has borne our weaknesses and our diseases. And surely he has carried our sorrows and our pains of punishment. Yet we ignorantly consider him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God as if with leprosy. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement, the needful to obtain peace, and the well-being for us was upon him. And with those stripes that he bore on his body in a place like this, we are healed and made whole. I said, Lord, I said, Lord, why? Why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this for us? And he too took me to a scripture that is not connected to this verse, but it should be. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Why did he do this? Why did he endure those stripes? Why did he carry every sickness and every disease? Why? The Bible says, looking away. What was he looking away from? He was looking away from the post. He was looking away from the whip. He was looking away from the stones. He was looking away from the blood that was gushing from his body. He was looking away from every pain that he had to bear. Every blow that came on him. He was looking away from what was happening in his body. From all that will distract. Looking away. Jesus, who is the leader and the source of our faith. 
He's the author and the finisher. For He, and this is my point today, for He, for the joy of obtaining the prize that was set before Him, endured the cross, despising and ignoring the shame, is now seated at the right hand of the Father. He didn't look at his circumstance. He didn't look at the whipping. He didn't look at the thorns. He didn't look at the pain and how his body was ripped in pieces. For he had you on his mind. For he was thinking of you. He was thinking of every sickness that would try and get on your body. And because of you, he bore those stripes and he carried those pains and those sicknesses. Just close your eyes for a minute and meditate on that. Because of you, because of you, he was scorched, he was whipped. That's how much he loves you. Because of you, he bore the pain. Because of you, just because he loved you. He took all that punishment, every sickness, every cancer, every arthritis, every diabetes, because of you. Just because of you. Just because of you. We worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. No one like you, my Lord. We worship you, my Prince of Peace. That is what I long to do. We give you praise, for you are my righteousness. We worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, almighty God, there is none like you. I worship you, my Prince of Peace, that is what I long to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. I worship you, almighty God, there is none like you. He saw me. He saw me. He saw me in that hospital bed with my head deformed, temperature 107.6. He saw me, and that's what he was looking at. He saw you when the sickness tried to get on your body. He saw you. That's what he was looking at when they whipped him, when they scorched him. It was you he saw. It was you he saw. Sing it again. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, my Prince of Peace. That is what I long to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. 
worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship yes. you, Almighty God. Almighty God. There is none like no one you. Like you. I worship you, my Prince of Peace. That is what I long to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteous. Yes, I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. There is none like you. Let him speak now. Don't talk. Don't pray in tongues. Just wait on the Lord. Just wait on the Lord. He's here. He's here. He's here. Where two or more gather, he's here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. There is none. There is none. There is none like you. I worship you, Almighty God. That's what I long to do. But I say, there is none. There is none like you. Each and every one, I died just for you. Became the sacrifice, the sacrificial lamb. Oh, there is none. There is none like you. Do you understand? Think of me when you see the places that are around. For I laid down my life in sacrifice so that your life would abound. Not just a place. Not just a tomb. Not just a place you came to see, but a place where you can remember what I did for thee. No one could shed their blood but one. The innocent blood was shed on the basis of that blood. You too can be spirit-led. So allow me this very day to lead what you do and lead what you say. For I paid the price for you. There's nothing, no nothing, nothing that you can do. But the price was paid. My body was laid, and the blood was shed for each one. Oh, honor the Father. Honor me this day, and remember the victory has been won by the blood of the Son. And remember, remember this moment.
for the rest of your life, remember that the devil cannot win with strife. Remember this moment when sickness comes on you, for you will know that I carried it far from you. Don't accept it. Don't receive it. It is not from me. For don't you know, this very day, I have set you free. And there is no limitation, and there is no imitation, for only the blood of the Son. Remember this place, remember my grace, for it was here that the victory was won. Lift your hands and start to thank him for all that he did. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank him for when he healed you. Thank him for when he delivered you. Thank him for every stripe that he bore in a place like this. Thank him for his love for you. Thank him for every sickness he carried away. Thank him because he did it for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. We glorify you. We honor you, my Lord. 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 I can't help but get emotional when I think that at the moment the whip hit him, he was looking at me in that hospital room. Please don't forget this moment because the enemy will try and bring sickness to you in the future. <coughs> don't forget that you were there. You were there. You were there. When every sickness and every disease yes. was taken. Every. Yes. None left. So don't allow the enemy to stop you finishing your race. Amen. Amen. There's many places that touched me in Israel, in the Holy Land. Ah, but this was one of the more special. And I couldn't bring you here and not bring you to this place. Because from this place, you will remember for the rest of your life. You were there in that place where every sickness was taken. Amen. God is so awesome. You know, the anointing is all over this place. You know that the presence of God is here. I wish we could spend the whole day here just worshiping Him because the presence is here. We have some things we have to go and see. Thank you. I really sense it in my heart. Thank you for coming. You made this whole trip special for me. Thank you. Last time I was here, so bad I wanted to share all this. But it was the wrong people. They could not receive this. But you can. You know how to worship him. You know how to get into his presence. This was gems that God saved for us on this trip. None of you are here by chance. God ordained it 
from the beginning of time that you would be sitting on this seat right now, on this day. Amen. Please meditate on this as we travel the rest of this day. I don't believe that God is yet finished. There's more to come.